that being said, let's do some quick introductions. Uh, my name is Seth Thompson, and I'm the Environment Set Supervisor on our pre-rendered cinematics team. I won't be giving a demo during this portion, but after this, I will be giving an hour-long live sculpting demo, so if you guys want to stick around for that, i got some cool stuff to show you. Uh, first off, we have the three guys over here. These are all of our presenters today. If you guys can see Kenson. Kenson, can you stand over here a second? Uh, Kenson's going to be our first presenter, if you can see him. Uh, he's been with Blizzard for over 12 years now. And he's worked on everything back from Warcraft 3 to all the World of Warcraft cinematics. He's worked on StarCraft, Diablo 3. If you've seen it, he's probably worked on it. So Kenson's going to be doing our first demo a little bit later. We have Young Hyun Kim. And he's been with us for over seven years now. He started out on our character modeling team, and he's now working in on our surfacing team. So he's going to show you stuff that he's modeled out of ZBrush, as well as doing some surfacing art. Uh, just a side note, we call him Eddie around the office, so if you hear us use the name Eddie here, that is the same thing, yum yum. Uh, finally, we have Alvaro Buendia. For those of you guys that are used to the ZBrush user community, you might have seen some of his work. He posts a lot of really cool personal work all the time. So this is going to be the first time you guys get to see this actual professional. Uh, before we get into the demos, we did want to show you the cinematics that these assets appear on. So we're going to show you two of those. The first one we're going to show you is the StarCraft II, part of the Swarm opening. And what this is, is it's displaying some of the stuff you see behind me right now. Um, and it is the basically a Zerg invasion of the planet of Korholm, which is a human stronghold. So let's go ahead and show that, and I'll showcase some of our stuff. Okay, so I'm glad you guys like that. Uh, as you see here from the images on the left, this is going to be what Young Hyun's going to be showing you today. He's going to show you how he worked on the drop pod, the Leviathan, and also the Baneling. And his 
his demo is going to be pretty cool because he's going to take you from concept to final completion, uh, the entire process of Blizzard. And then he's going to give you a live demo using ZBrush layering system on the Leviathan asset. He's going to show you how in a production work environment or even on a personal work environment, you can quickly do a lot of iteration with ZBrush and get approvals that could sometimes take days to do in a production environment. You can do it in just a few minutes. Uh, secondly, Alvaro is going to be presenting to you the Nidus Worm, Ultralisk, and Zergling. He modeled all of these for the cinematic, and his demo is going to focus mostly on that full live uh, sculpting demo for a portion of the Ultralisk. He's going to show you with using ZBrush, without anything, you can create really awesome base meshes, eventually get up to your final detailed mesh. And um, we have one more cinematic that we want to show you guys, and then we'll jump into the demos. The next cinematic we want to show you is a little later in the game, and this occurs on the planet of Zerus. And Zerus is the planet that the Zerg evolved from originally. They're still evolving there, and they have what's called the Primal Zerg now. And these guys are stronger and just really mean and really awesome, so we want to showcase that for you. Um, Kenson's going to set up, so really quickly while looking at the image here, he's going to focus on the primal zerg and at the image you see at the bottom that shows some of the ZBrush detail, he's going to be showing you guys what he can do, so he's going to probably close that while he gets you guys set up. Um, a little introduction about Kenson, as I mentioned he's been with Blizzard for over seven years now, and what he'll be showing you is how he has developed over the years using just a lot of the basic tools in ZBrush and the alphas that are Included with ZBrush, how to get the kind of detail that you just saw on that creature. And he's developed some stuff. I think that pretty much after you guys watch this, you can even go home and be able to do it very quickly because the techniques are pretty simple, but it's stuff that he's learned over the years of working with the assets. And that being said, he's going to probably show you a little bit of his personal art first, and uh, we'll turn it over to him in just a minute. Um, All right, before we get started, let's give a round of applause for Kenson. Thank you. So, hi, how, how's everyone doing? Uh, you guys uh, enjoying uh, Seagraph? So I've been at, at Blizzard for 12 to 13 years. I mean, I've always enjoyed uh, monsters and monster movies and uh, dinosaurs and creatures and stuff, so... And I was always always into 
games like Diablo and StarCraft, so uh, luckily I was able to land a job at Blizzard. So, and uh, when I first started, um, the industry was uh, using uh, NURBS patches. I don't know if you guys heard of that, but um, it's pretty old school. Uh, so then uh, technology progressed and we came to subdivision and now we have a displacement sculpting. And uh, ZBrush is a great tool for that. And uh, we can do a lot of uh, high surface detailing. So, but before I start my demo, I would like to show some of my personal artwork. So here's uh, something I uh, did on ZBrush. It's just a quick uh, sketch, but it's, it's like some alien insectoid type creature, very shelly. There's another angle. Yeah, I was uh, in, actually influenced from like some sea creatures, some sea shell, uh, sea shell. Uh, Anthropods. Yeah. And uh, luckily, Blizzard was uh, able to let me uh, work on the Hydralis. And uh, it's such, a, such a hi iconic creature. And uh, I was really happy working on it. And it's an honor to work on it. Had a lot of fun, baby. Here's another piece. Uh, for StarCraft, um, it's actually uh, for the cinematics, uh, building a better marine. You see, this uh, this robot actually uh, uh, builds the marine and puts the armor together. It actually doesn't have a head, but all the all the uh, mechanical pieces are there. So here's a personal work. It's a my bad frog did a ZBrush, so it's like it's not really bad, but. It's kind of like a lizard type of creature, so another angle, it's posed. It took a while to do that, but that's pretty fun. There's a piece for World of Warcraft, it's just a sketch I did. There are no monkeys, but I just put in monkeys for fun, so it's like there's another shot of the hydralis. Another angle. Quick sketch for uh, World of Warcraft. Uh, personal piece. I was a fan of uh, Castlevania stuff and I was trying to make a wolf, so. Another angle. This this is a drawing for World of Warcraft. It's a, it's a bit of a steampunk style. There's a trench demon from uh, Diablo 3. I modeled the whole thing, but we only see just the leg part. Just over here. But I had a blast doing it anyways. There's a concept for World of Warcraft. This is a warp stalker. I don't know if you guys know this. This guy just runs around in the, in the world. Another concept from World of Warcraft. This one got rejected, but it's not fun to do it. Okay. So I'll start off with my demo right now. So uh, the Synaptics team uh, needed an in-game character modeler. So, but I was available at the time, and there wasn't anyone available, so they had me do it. And uh, Avro, uh, luckily, uh, did the portions for this guy first, so, and then uh, they called me in to do it afterwards. So uh, here's the concept of uh, what the Zerg creature is. He's like a part Zerg, part beast, and. Uh, 
they didn't exactly want this type of texture. Uh, they wanted a leathery type of texture, so let me bring that and change the texture. I mean the material. So you guys can see it better. So yeah, so this is what the result was. So we, uh, ZBrush was uh, able to uh, allow us to do a lot of nice uh, surface detailing on this guy. So I'll start off uh, with uh, a smoothed out um, mesh first. I'm gonna smooth out. So I'll show you how to do the surface detail. So. Um, the standard brush is pretty good. You can do a lot of uh, good volume and stuff. But um, for for uh, doing a nice texture work, I would uh, pick the dam brush over here. I have my own hotkeys, but you guys can set them up yourself. Dam brush is right over here. So what this does is uh, it uh, indents into the surface, but it pinches a little bit. So you see that? But if you do this with a regular uh, standard brush, I'm using my high keys again, so standard brush. You see that? It's much wider. With the dam brush, you can uh, actually uh, it actually pinches itself, so you don't have to do any pinching. So I'll smooth that out. So with the dam brush, I usually do a lot of uh, cross hatching. Probably want to push it in pretty deep. Creatures have a lot of uh, different types of uh, uh, texture and wrinkles. So I would uh, recommend getting uh, good reference references. So you get a lot of uh, folding in around uh, uh, a lot of moving areas, like joints and stuff. So I'll go ahead and uh, dig deeper and see them. You want to actually cross each other? Cross them? Now there's this uh, other brush that's pretty cool, which is the inflate brush, which is right over here. So what this is, is uh, actually bulges the, the surface. So when you start using the br this brush, actually uh, the mesh actually comes out and bulges, and all these uh, lines right here, they'll start uh, coming closer together, and you get this uh, nice wrinkle type of uh, detail. See that? And you go, go ahead and pinch it a little bit. You go to pinch brush. Uh, I have my hotkey set up so you guys can set up your own hotkeys. I, re I recommend hotkeys because the, they're the best way, way to go. It's quick and fast instead of uh, digging out through the, through the menu. So. Also, to to uh, make uh, these uh, folds and stuff, you don't actually have to do it manually. You can actually just use uh, alpha brushes. You can go over here. Um, you can press the comma key. That's the hot key for the light box. And you can go over here to alpha. And uh, ZBrush has a good selection of uh, skin textures. I could actually make my own, but. Um, um, I had to do this quick, so I just uh, chose uh, these default ones, which are pretty decent. They work pretty well. So you can do the same thing. Double click this, and it'll show up right over here. For this, you have to press Alt to dig in. So. so you see that? Now you can combine that with the let me press it in a little bit more. Oh, let me try a different. So 
now you can use the inflate brush again. You can see how it actually uh, crosses each other or pinches. And there, now you can smooth, pull the shift. And then you can see these little details. See? So this is a pretty good technique that I use. We'll inflate this some more. And on top of that, you can just uh, add on another layer of uh, skin just by using this regular brush, the alpha, on top of it. And inflate again. Oops. I think I left on the inflate, but uh, I was going to use the regular standard brush and use the alpha. The regular. Hold all. Dig in. Sorry. Use the inflate brush. Oops. Turn the alpha off. See, uh, see that? It's pretty cool. You get off for free. You don't have to do a lot of manual work. And just uh, go back to standard and just add the extra detail on top of that. You get this nice layering. And uh, you just use the standard brush for more volume. If you want bone areas and stuff, so you want to do some extra volume changes. Smooth that out a little bit. So yeah, so that's how you do uh, surface detailing. I mean, you gotta take your patience and just uh, do it all over the model, and the result is uh, this one over here. Let me uh, change the material so you can uh, get a better uh, view of all the detail. I use the Matte Cap Pro, so you can see all the detail on there. And you just have to have the patience of doing it. Yep, got all this nice surface detail. That's the end of my uh, demo. Thank you, Captain.